are stories that need to be told. Marsha Bixby has spent years searching for answers about a brother that she didn't even know she had. So it wasn't until I got his adoption papers that I knew that he was my brother. But I started searching right after I buried him in 1968. It's awful. Missed so much time growing up. Thomas Bixby was a decorated war hero. Yeah, that's South Vietnamese. Killed in action in 1968. What does it mean to the both of you to have been fortunate enough to have such a hero in your lives, even if it was for a short period, and such a decorated hero? He was decorated. He had a lot of medals. It's the Purple Heart. He wasn't wounded once. Either. No. He was wounded multiple times. Yes. Went back out into battle and yes. finally met. You know, his demise. Foley's family were close friends of Thomas's adopted father, Mel. Through time, they, you know, took care of him when he was sick and passed away. And they went through all of his possessions to clean them out. I didn't know what happened to any of his things. Eventually, as everyone grew older and passed away, I ended up with Tom's belongings. For 30 years, I've had his items. And for those past 30 years, Foley has been on a mission to find Tom's family. Every time I saw a name Bigsby or I would just randomly go through a phone book and if I found the name Bigsby, I would call them and ask if they knew a Mel or a Thomas Bigsby. And it was always the same, no, you know, response was no, we didn't. I'd been coming over to the museum talking to Dennis. I brought over the only picture I had of Tommy. But then something miraculous happened. I got the phone call. I get this text from Denny saying, Marsha, call me. It's important. That phone call would forever change Marsha's life. It was like I'm looking at his picture and I was baffled because as far as I knew, nobody, you know, knew about him. Conversation about the gentleman I'm looking at on the wall. And I'm going, no, I know he's got a sister. I know he's got a sister. On this day, Cheryl and Marsha brought Tommy's relics to be reunited with his brothers at arms in reconnecting two women that never knew their paths had already crossed. You know the woman standing next to me until Cheryl and I met and we looked at the picture and Cheryl says, I'm that little eight-year-old sitting in the front row and I'm the one behind him. But to look back and to know that we were all together and now it's full circle. Um, I just can't thank everyone enough. Reporting for 18 News. No, I can't. I'm Matt Paddock.